Okay, we're going to take a quick look at the graph tool here in Illustrator. I've already got an empty file open. So come over to the tools, and you have to come way down, and aren't they convenient? Make a little graph here. You can click it, and you can see if you hold this. Come on, hold this. You can see there's lots to start with, but we're just going to use the column graph because it's a basic, simple one. And how you do it, you know, it's across here. Just draw out the space you want your want it to be in and you get one giant bar. Well that's not going to work. So let's set up what we're going to do. And I'm just going to make two columns. I'm not getting crazy here making 50 because you can do that yourself. You can bring data in a bunch of different ways. There's a little thing here. If you happen to have a uh, data, you know, a, a Excel spreadsheet or something like that, you can import data. I don't have one, so I'm not doing that. If you get a, a CVS file, comma delimited file, if you copy, you can copy and paste them in here. But I'm just going to make some stuff up. I'm going to call this uh, cat and hit a tab. Tab makes you go to the right, and I'm going to have dog. All right, hit return. I'm going to have dog for um, 70. And I'll use my arrow keys. I'll get back under cat and I'll have cat at uh, 47. Okay, so now we've got that. Now, if I just check this like this, we get a two column uh, with a ledger. The reason we do is because this is linear. Now, if I switch it, because here we've got a transpose, if I switch it and then check it, I get that. Okay. Now you can have, uh, I personally want um, this because I want to play with it a little. So there we go, dog and cat. Um, because we use 70, it gave us 80. Now we can make some changes on this. I'm basing this on 100%. And you can put percentage signs if you want in by using a dollar sign and putting percent sign after the number. I'm not doing that. I'm just going to show you the basics. That's it. So the things I can do, if I double click this tool, we've got options. So here's an option. We could add a drop shadow. Uh, we can move the legend across the top. And if we say, okay, there you go. I think the drop shadow looks horrible, so I don't want to do that. So I'm going to go back and I'm going to undo some of these things. I don't want this across the top. Uh, I can change the width of it. Right now, the columns are 90% and the cluster is 80. If you change these, you'll change obviously the width of this so let's change this to um, 50 and say okay and you'll notice we've got much narrower columns awesome terrific so uh, we can do uh, another thing we want to do at this point is uh, who wants a black and gray uh, chart nobody and we need this to go to 100 percent so if I double click this again and I'll go down to the value override change this to a hundred and I can um, say OK. Boom. Now notice we've got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9 sections. Again, we can go back here and see. Let's go to the axis. See, it says divisions are 8. And that's why we've got that particular um, division. If we did it by 10, let's just go 10, say OK. Now we go divide by 10, uh, just depending on what number you will create these tick marks. So you, that's up to you, what you want to do. I'm leaving it where it is. So let's change this. I don't, I don't like the way it looks, so let's change the color. Now, conveniently, we would like to change both the legend and the other bar associated with the legend at the same time. How do we do that? We go over here to the arrow, see the group selection? do that click once first now click once on the one you want then click again look see the little blue dots blue dots it covered it so now all you have to do is come over here let's choose a new color uh, let's make it blue say okay but it went gray what's wrong ah that's because it's in the wrong color space and if we select all and we go up to edit and we go to edit colors and we go to convert to RGB. That should get everything. So now when we uh, cancel this, now when we do this, let's get our plus white arrow plus. 
Got them both. Let's make this blue. And then we can come over here, do the same thing. Click, click. And then what did I say dogs were? I think dogs are yellow. So there you go. So that's one of those tricky little things that you can do. Simple as all that. But what if we don't want a bar graph? What if we want a pie chart that we don't see this? We got a stroke on there. I don't want a stroke on there. So I'm going to take the stroke off. It causes a problem. So let's double click this and let's change our chart. So here we have a pie chart. Okay. And I, why nothing happened? Well, because I didn't have the chart selected. So I need my black hour arrow check, click, everything selected. Let's try that again. Double click. You know, little things like that happen all the time to people. So you kind of have to go, all right, all right. So where is my chart tool right there? Let's go to a pie chart. Okay, boom, instant pie chart. Pretty easy to do. Now there's some options of that too. So double click it. And um, you can add, if you go, standard legend, see legend in wedges. Say okay, now we got cat and dog and you can pretty much tell by looking at it. So other, you know, stack graphs, stuff like that. You got to go, come in here. Now this isn't really going to work much for a stack graph because you go, okay, they're just next to each other. And this is um, horizontal. So you can look at it that way. So each one of these has their own, uh, you can make your own choices. Um, as far as what kind of graph you want, they, some don't work at all. When you do that, you just got two dots. Why? Because we haven't filled in anything. So it's a scatter chart. So it's just scattered points that we'd have to have a lot more points. Um, here we have a line chart and we've got two points, you know, here's one, here's the other. Um, if you come here and you want some of the options, uh, you can draw a filled line. So you can see there's, there's lots of choices that you can make as far as the basic graph goes. So we're back at our graph with dogs and cats and you can make a pictograph. So what you can do is, and I happen to have already had the picture, so I'm going to go file and I'm going to get my picture place and I'm going to grab cat place and I'll just make me a kitty. All right. Now, because I did it that way, I can go up here in the options bar and go image trace. And I'm going to do a high fidelity photo and it doesn't look like anything happened until I hit expand. And now it's artwork because what happens is, is that if it's an image, it won't work when we do this. So you have to break it up. Next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go under object graph design new design there's my kitty i got to rename it because new design won't work i just call cat okay and i'm going to say okay and still nothing's happened so i'm going to click here and again so i get both of them now i can go under object graph column cat and i want this to be repeating and I don't particularly want to rotate the legend. So I'll do that. And maybe I'll make this 20. And I'm going to chop my design and say, OK. And look, 20. So 20, 40, 40, and a little bit of a kitty. So we got a nice stack design. So that's one thing you can do. You can also make what's called um, a sliding design. So I'm going to do something a little different with the dogs. So I'm going to scoot that over a little bit. Uh, let's go file, place. Now I got a dog already downloaded. Where's dog? Dog. There we go. Dog. And I get a nice little puppy dog. And what I'm going to do with that is I'm going to take the rectangle tool and I'm going to draw it right under here, a little rectangle tool doesn't have to be terribly big and it's gray but I'm gonna put a um, gradient in it so I'll click my gradient tool and I'll uh, go ahead and do that 
and I want to see my options, so show options. And linear is fine. I'm going to change that to um, 90, so it's the dark on top, clear in the bottom. They do not have to be that color. So I can just click here. And uh oh, it's black and white again, so there's a fly out for RGB. Um, let's go a greenish color. And then we'll do this one. We can do the same thing, RGB. And let's make that kind of a darker green color. There you go. So it looks like pup's standing right there on top. Let's move it down a little bit, a little bit more. There we go, pup's standing right on top. And the way I'm going to make this work is I'm going to grab my pen tool. And I'm going to click once here. And I'll hold my shift key so I get a nice straight line once there. And whoops. See how it's still moving? If I hit the escape key, which is on the top left hand corner, and I'm going to change this by going view, and I'm going to go to guides, and I'm going to make a guide out of that. So I got a nice guide. And now I'm going to select everything. So it's grouped. Boop, select it all. And we will group it. Object group. All right. So. And we'll make a new design. We've got it selected. Object graph design. Uh, new design. Rename dog. Okay. Say okay. Now let's select our column. Same way we did before. Stink, dink. So we got them both. Object graph column. Now, we're going to choose the dog, and we are going to have it be sliding. And I don't think we need to rotate it. We'll know as soon as we do it. Say OK. And you'll see that we've got our little dog is slid up. And I may not, must not have grouped it, but there you go. He slid up. There he is on the top. I kind of always like these the most. You know, I can, he looks cute. Nice sliding bar. And uh, so that's how you do a sliding bar. And that's it. I am done. Go away.